Hello guys, it's Piotr from Big Studio and welcome to this quick tip tutorial. So let's have a look at our scene. We've got a simple scene here, scrambled together from some pieces of geometry from Forest Park Library or from Chaos Cosmos, which is great by the way, and it is not a sponsored video or anything, I'm just saying it is wonderful and it comes within the package of V-Ray. So guys, check out Chaos Cosmos, it's accessible here and it got some super nice models for you to use. Just drag and drop or one click and it's in your scene, so that's great. We've got a render here, let's have a look. And this is a lovely situation. A lady is coming back from the park with her prom and a baby in the prom supposedly. And oh no, she's trying to cross the road in an unmarked place. This is dangerous. We've got to do something about it. So I propose let's introduce some horizontal road signs here. Road stripes and zebra crossing to be precise. So she can safely go to the other side of the street and there will be no harm to either her or the baby. So to do that, I'm going to create some geometry for our stripes. There are a few ways to approach this. I'm sticking to the simplest ways, meaning going with a spline, normalized spline, deleting some segments of it, and then adding a sweep modifier to it. But you can as well just copy some boxes around or you can use a script that was created exactly and precisely to do just that. It's called a dashed lines generator and it allows you to create a dashed line from a simple spline. If you want to get it, uh, you can find the link in the description. But as you can see, I'm sticking with my uh, spline with sweep modifier and I am going forward with that. Basically, the only thing you have to remember about is to have your geometry overlapping and going through the surface of the road. And to do the zebra crossing, I've just uh, created some boxes and uh, make sure that uh, the thickness of those is the same as for our road stripes. So now let's get to the nitty gritty of our video and let's start with creating a V-Ray blend material. So now I'm gonna take my base source asphalt material and copy it into the base material slot in V-Ray blend material. Remember to apply it to your geometry. Now I am creating a copy of that asphalt material and putting it into the first coat slot in the V-Ray plant material. And now I am going to put a white ish color in the diffuse slot and decrease the visibility of the texture map in the diffuse slot. I will go with 10%. And now let's create a texture that will be the blend amount and it will control the strength of the effect we are going for. And V-Ray Distance Texture is the texture that is going to do our trick. I start with adding the geometry of our stripes and zebra crossing to the list of objects that are controlling the effect. Now let's tweak some settings. We are going to go with zero distance here. Our far color is going to be black. Our near color is going to be white because it basically works as a mask in Photoshop, meaning white effect is visible, black stuff is not visible. I'm gonna check those boxes here and by the same principle, the inside color and outside color are going to be white and black respectively. Now one thing to do is to make sure that those two pieces of geometry, the crosswalk and the stripes, won't be visible in our render. Speaking of which, let's check out how the render looks now. And look at that! This already looks better. We've got our horizontal road size, we've got our stripes, our crosswalk, and it already looks safer. But let's give it a few adjustments. The obvious thing is deleting those two stripes, but I also think 
that those stripes look too clean, too tidy, and I want to do something about it and give it some more detail. And to give it some imperfections, I'm adding my uh, V-Ray distance texture to a composite map in 3ds Max. And I am going to overlay that map with some dirt map I've got here. Let's put it on top and set it to multiply. It also works just as like in Photoshop. It already looks kind of nice, but what I want to do now is to avoid UV mapping and adding any modifiers to my geometry, partially because of the reason that I'm lazy. And to do that, I'm going to put my dirt map into a V-Ray Triplanner texture map. I'm going to adjust the size and give it some randomization. And the last thing is I am going to put a UV randomizer in the mapping source slot. And inside it, I am going to tick this little thingy called stochastic tiling, which is a feature that has been introduced in VRAPE 5.0, and it's really great. And for now, please don't worry much about the preview in the material editor slot, because it's going to look better in the rendering. And let's check it out. And it already looks nicer. You can try using a different dirt map, you can try layering them up uh, together, or you can try adding some blurring to, to the stripes, but you get the general idea of how this method works. But guys, to sum up, we did it. We've made a safe passage from one side of the street to the other, and we even gave it some imperfections, which are essential. We avoided tragedy, we saved the day, and I hope you have learned a cool little trick in 3ds Max Plus V-Ray. Thanks guys, stay tuned for our other videos, consider subscribing or just leaving a like. Bye!